Suppose I have to convert this number 23.625. It is a decimal number and I want to convert it into a binary number. So it means I want to convert it into a number whose base is 2. So what will I do? I will separate the integer part from the fractional part. First of all, I am going to convert the integer part into a binary number. So here what I will do? I will divide it by base 2. The quotient which I will get is 11 and remainder will be 1. Then again I will divide this quotient by 2. So the quotient which I will get is 5 and remainder will be 1. Then again I have to divide this quotient by 2. Right. So the quotient which I get is 2 and remainder is 1. Again when I divide it, this quotient 2 by 2, uh, I will get 1 as a quotient and remainder will be 0. Now when I again divide this quotient by 2, I will get 0 as a quotient and remainder as 1. Now what I have to do, I have to accumulate this these remainders from bottom to top so it would be one zero one 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 so when i convert 23 into binary the result is one zero one 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 now i have to convert the fractional part so here instead of dividing by 2 I have to multiply it by 2 because it is a fractional part so 0 0.625 when I multiply it by 2 what I get 1.35 so here the integer part is 1 and fractional part is 0 0.35 now again multiply the fractional part which I got by multiplying by 2 so here I got 0 0.70 here the integer part is 0 and fractional part is 0 0.7 so again I have to divide the new fractional part with 2 what I got 1.4 here the integer part is 1 and fractional part is 0 0.4 when I multiply again multiply it by 2 the result would be 0 0.8 here the integer part is 0 and fractional part is 0 0.8 I have to continue this process until the fraction becomes 0 or until the number of digit has sufficient accuracy I think the these four digits can provide sufficient accuracy so I will leave the process here and the next step is accumulate all the integers which I got in these steps from top to down so that is 1010 zero, one zero. and it is the desired result so when we convert 0 0.625 from decimal to binary we what we get 0 0.1010 now what we have to do we have to convert this number 23.625 into a binary number so what will we do we will combine these two binary numbers this one and this one because this binary number is equivalent to its integer part. This binary number is equivalent to the integer part of the decimal number. And this binary number is equivalent to the fractional part of the decimal number. So what I need to do? I need to combine these both numbers. So it would be, first of all write the integer part. 10111 10111 one, 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 one. 
and then the radix point here it is a binary point and the fractional part it is one zero one zero now it is the desired result now suppose I have to convert a decimal number into a number whose base is 5. Now let that number is 135.12. It is a decimal number and I have to convert it into a number whose base is 5. So again I have to separate the integer part from the fractional part. Here the integer part is 135. So I have to convert this integer part into a number of base 5. So what will I do? I will divide it by 5 and whatever the quotient I get I will successively divide it by 5. And in end I will accumulate the remainders. So 135 should be divided by 5. When I divide it by 5, I get quotient 27 and remainder 0. Now again, I will divide this uh, quotient by 5. 5, 5 is so 25 and 2 will be the remainder. Here for, again I got uh, a quotient that is 5. Again divided by 5. When I divide it by 5, the quotient will be 1 and remainder will be 0. Here the quotient is 1. Now again I will divide it by 5. Here the quotient will become 0 and remainder will be 1. Now accumulate the remainders from bottom to top. Right? Then result would be 1, 0, 2, 0. Now I have converted the integer part into a number whose base is 5 so I got 1020 right now I have to so now I have to convert this fractional part into a number of base 5 so here what I will do instead of dividing it by 5 I will multiply this number by 5 right so the so when I multiply it by 5 I get 0 0.60 now I will separate the integer and fractions right now here the integer is 0 and fractional part is 0 0.60 now I will again multiply it by 5 right so I have to continue this process of multiplying the fractional part by 5 right until the fraction becomes 0 or the number of digits are enough to provide accuracy. Right. So when I again multiply it by 5, what I get? 3.0. Right. So again separate the integer part and fractional part. So here the integer part is 3. Right. Now the fractional part has become zero so there is no need to continue right now accumulate the integers which I got uh, which we got in different steps right so here are these integers now accumulate them from top to bottom so it would be 0 3 so when we convert 0 0.12 decimal into a number whose base is 5 the result would be 0 0.03 so now we have to combine these two numbers right, to get the desired result now this number 1020 is equivalent to the decimal number 135 so this number is equivalent to the integer portion of this number and this number 0 0.03 is equivalent to the fractional portion of this number so to get the desired result means to get a number which is 
equivalent to this decimal number and whose base is 5 is 1020 it is the integer part of this number and then radix point and then the fractional portion that is the fractional part and it is 0 0.03 so it is the desired result it is a number which is equivalent to this decimal number thank you very much